Today I am going to show how to make thread in the cylindrical surface. So at first you have to go to uh, create a sketch on a front plane. At first you have to select the front plane and select the sketch option. Here you have to make a drawing first. Now I am just temporarily draw drawing. Let's see how is this happen. I am going to make a cylinder, a normal cylinder, with a some type of depth here. the cylinder okay I have to give it internal diameter let's select the line option then I go to for the trim option make the trim and press the tick button now I have to come out from the exit or bench option now for the revolve option select the axis and this is the counter okay. and we select the sketch and select the thin option Need the tick. This is the our cylinder, hollow cylinder. Okay. Here, at first, when I have to draw a, a thread, I have to choose a plane where I can sketch. I choose this plane and select for the sketch. I go into the sketch then I go for the convert entity option and select this edge into the entity and then go for the features features that is the curve there is the helix curve okay and then I have to uh, direction the reverse side so this is the reverse direction then I will go for the pitch and the height option okay. pitch height then I will go for the at first I want to change uh, this is the length option this is the length option 5 and then the pitch option 1 millimeter 1 inch okay now this I have to minimize this pitch features of some card and helix option here and to pitch distance mass should be small 0 0.5 this became the pitch okay. and then I want to decrease its height and that is ok this is the helix now I have completed the helix drawing then I have to make a plane towards the helix then I go to the reference select the plane and first reference is this point and the second reference is the helix sorry and this is the plane I have created this plane then select this plane and sketch I have made this the perpendicular option I made 
this perpendicular mm -hmm. direction mm -hmm. then I am going to make a drawing on it select the line option click here and click here okay and also make one truss triangle here one triangle press escape and the second triangle here and I am going to join it then the trim option zoom it and trim then I have to connect these two lines here and here and here the triangle being close yeah. now I have to go for the sweep option okay sweep then select the sketch and select the helix line okay. then I am go for the another guide curves options but now I'm the simplest thread option that is click and the thread is done now I have to hide the helix then go for the helix and hide the helix then go for the hide the plane and hide the no sorry this is going to be the helix and the helix shown helix hide helix default sweep What is this pink yellow line? This is the center line that is not that important. Okay. This is how I can make the thread. If you cut this thread, okay, you can also cut that thread portion. You have to make this plane create sketch convert entities and make a sketch or you have to select the font plane select this sketch Select this edge, make this edge convert into this. Select the font plane, sketch convert into this, delete the page, and this become the convert into this. Complete this sketch. is trying and make features expose cut make it mid plane and just make thicken this will cut all the elongated portions from these okay can you see this this, this is the bisection view if you want to see this is the bisection view what is the pink line I can't understand what is the pink line why this pink line have come This is the, I think the helix skull axis. This is, this is the cross section view. Okay, 
and this is how we can make the thread okay maybe this it became hidden okay. I can this is how we can make the thread this is how we can make the thread and now I am going to this share and subscribe